Today I want to share a couple of key points from Luther's large catechism concerning the Lord's Supper, what he called the sacrament of the altar. All of us must start with the belief that the bread and wine, when joined to the Word of God, become the true body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The bread and wine themselves are only bread and wine, but when they're joined to the words Christ spoke on the night he was betrayed, they become exactly what he said. It doesn't matter if the person distributing the sacrament is holy or evil, or if the person receiving the sacrament is holy or evil. The sacrament remains what God says it is. Luther says it this way, For the sacrament is not founded upon people's holiness, but upon God's word, just as no saint on earth, indeed no angel in heaven, can make bread and wine be Christ's body and blood, so also no one can change it or alter it even though it is misused. This complete dependence on the Word of God instead of the thoughts and actions of humans preserves the reason God gave it to us in the first place, for the forgiveness of sins. Do you see the pattern of forgiveness here? God has forgiven our sins and redeemed us through the faith He graciously gives us in spite of our being dead in sins and trespasses. He saves us when we have nothing to offer God that would have caused Him to forgive us. He forgives us solely for Christ's sake, based on Christ's pure offering of Himself, never because we have offered, or even could offer, Him anything. God offers in this sacrament the exact same forgiveness under the exact same terms that He offers all forgiveness by His own unchangeable initiative. This is the same initiative that Jesus explained to Nicodemus. Just as God had Moses lift up the bronze serpent so that all who were snake bit could receive life instead of death, so Jesus was lifted up so that whoever believes in him will have eternal life. The bronze snake was not a judgment on the people who were afflicted with death, but the only means of healing for those who believed God's promise. The Son of God was not sent into the world to judge the world, but to save it. Those who do not believe are judged already, for they are dead already. The forgiveness of sins offered by Christ, the eternal glory offered by Christ, never depends on the righteousness of the person. These are offered only to those who come as sinners in need of forgiveness. Luther doesn't ignore the fact that some may come to the altar with hearts that have no sense they need forgiveness. In fact, he says the lewd and morally loose must be told to stay away. They are not prepared to receive forgiveness of sin since they do not desire it and do not wish to be godly. Notice that he doesn't say that the forgiveness of sins is taken away from the sacrament based on the recipient. It's always there. He is emphasizing that you must recognize your need for forgiveness to actually benefit from the forgiveness offered. Callous hearts have already been judged. Broken hearts are forgiven. The sacrament of the altar is not for perfect people. Luther says it best. We go to the sacrament because we are poor, miserable people. We go exactly because we are unworthy. So, my unworthy brothers and sisters, do not deprive yourself of forgiveness. Come to the table as often as it is offered with repentant and ready hearts. You will be refreshed. You will be made ready to face the challenges of the world and you will be sanctified as you wait for Christ's return.